Hey there! Since Sunday, when I published a video about open source and free variant of Bolt, the fork that I made, a couple of things happened. First, there is a new sonnet that you can already use. I also added a new feature where you can live sync as you work with it with your local folder. Also, a bunch of you reached out. Some of you reached out about the version that I published that it had issues with stability and was not working. I have some good news. I've made changes and it should work better now. Second, uh, some of you reached out saying that they are, that you are interested in how to set it up locally. We will do this at the end of this video. And then a couple of you also reached out saying that there is a YouTuber, Coleman, uh, who also made video and has his own fork that is pretty popular. And I know about it, I reached out, and this is actually where I want to begin this video. That will cover these topics and a little bit more. Let's begin. So some of you pointed out that there is a common who has a fork, which also does where people are doing something similar. And I did not know about him and his video and his fork before I did the live stream last week, but I already knew about him by the time I was recording a video on Sunday. And he and you, it's hard to not know about him. His fork has by now something like 700 stars. And I am in, in it. Also, I'm working, not exactly, I haven't done any pull requests, but I'm keeping track of what people, of what kind of pull requests people are doing. And I am even participating in some of the conversations. You can find me here, leaving comments and discussing some of the possible changes. Now, I don't know where his fork is going. Um, he, he actually didn't accept any pull requests for a couple of days. So nothing is happening there except for discussions. And, like people are working, nothing get, gets merged. Also, there is more interest in it working locally. And some changes seem to go in that direction. I'm more interested in hosted versions on the server, not in local versions. So for now, I don't know. I, I do want to merge our efforts. I even reached out to him. Uh, you can see here a thread, and then we connected on LinkedIn, but we didn't yet communicate. He's busy, I'm busy, we didn't really communicate. So I don't know yet where it's going. There is also official repo from StackBlitz, right? And there is um, office hours today a little bit later. And I plan to participate and I plan to ask them questions about their uh, open source strategy plans going forward, because in their official repo, there are also some pull requests, some of which were not merged for two weeks. So I don't know. Problem is, we do not really have a fork on which work is effectively happening yet. I hope we will get there soon. We'll see how the office hours will go. We'll see what Cole has to say about his fork. We'll see. Anyways, there are office hours, they are today, and for me it's, uh, I actually don't see, oh, it starts in a couple of hours for me. So, yeah, we'll see. By the next time I will be doing videos on Bolt, I should have more information. Subscribe if you want to learn more by then. Okay, now let's speak about features. Uh, firstly, stability. Now, there are two problems with stability, and there are additional bugs, but as far as server stability goes and responsiveness, there were two problems, and I think I fixed one. If you've seen uh, site not being reachable, should be reachable now. And then there is a second problem, where you will get uh, errors on responses. This one I'm still investigating. Let's see. Create for me a hello world CSS HTML page with fancy animations. And yes, we did got it. You can see here this error. So I'm still investigating. It seems that Open Router doesn't return the real reason for the error, but I suspect it has to do with rate limits. Uh, even though it's free, there are limits, rate limits on these models, and we are hitting them. We can actually find it. So we can go to Open Router rate limits on free models. So we see that there are 20 requests per minute and 200 requests per day. That's actually not a lot. But still, you can go and here, get your own key and this way add it here and this way have your own rate limits on free models and still use for free and you so do that if you see this problem now next topic features uh, there is like a lot of news in ai world uh, one new thing that came out is that entropic announced a new model their previous Sonnet 35 version was already one of the best code editing tools. I think the only true rival is 01, which maybe is better. Now they released a new one, and they also released Cloud 3.5 Haiku. And they are better, maybe not by a lot. I don't think they really beat 01, but in some tests they do. There was, I think, either leaderboard where it seems like new Cloud 
is beating O1 preview in tests from AIDA. Doesn't mean it's better, but at least in tests from AIDA and what they are testing for is better. So there is a new model and it is already available uh, in, uh, let's create a key, test, sonnet, new, and it's already available. We can create a key, we can copy it, I will delete it later, we can paste it here. Now we can use paid models. We can go to Anthropic, it should be at the top, and there should be Sonnet, new one, and I'm actually interested in Haiku. Yeah, there is no, yeah, right, Haiku was not yet released, it was announced that it's releasing soon, it was not released yet. But there is Sonnet 6.2 and there is self-moderated one. Let's try to give this one a try quickly and see if this is gonna work. So, create for me fancy animated landing page with a snake game. And you can see that it's working. So, it was not working without a key, it's working with a key, so it's probably rate right limits. As many of you are trying, I'm probably hitting them, I will see what I can do, and if I can do anything, but... Let's see. So, it's creating... Oh, it's creating a React application. So anyways, about new features, Sonnet is already available through open uh, AI, not open AI, through open rotor, and you can already use it this way. Uh, apparently it's better, we'll see. Now, one thing that I can also say is that I do plan at some point add more providers, like open AI, for now it's open rotor because it has three models and it has almost all of the models, but I do plan add more. There are, add, there are providers in other forks and so on, I just need to make it work a little bit better. Okay, so it's generated, and we can play a snake game which, huh, what? Something's wrong, it's like game over is always game over. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, it's, so there's another feature that I wanted to show you, and this is, it's live sync. So you click on it, it only works in Chrome, Edge, and Opera, I think. It doesn't work in Firefox and Safari. It's a new feature in browsers where you can open a folder and not allow a browser to indefinitely, not indefinitely, but in current session, work with that folder. You refresh the page, you need to select the folder again. Let's select the folder. Let's create a new folder and say that it's a landing page. Folder is created, we select it, we need to allow things, and it's syncing and it's synced. We can try to go to documents landing page, and here it is, we have files, let's go to code here, let me do this. So we can see that we have main.js, style CSS, index, oh, it's an SRC. So we have SRC, index, and package lock. And there is also package JSON to that, yeah, three, package JSON. But there is also backup folder. Why backup folder? Because I'm creating new versions. We can go and edit something here, like fancy landing page two. I edit it, I save, and it's syncing again, and we see another backups. Here we see the latest version, and here we have backups. So if something goes wrong and you want to go back, your local folder will contain other versions as well. So this is a feature that I added. If I will refresh, I will need to add folder again. Sadly, that's how browsers work with such folders. I need to select it again for it to sync. That's it. That's about new features. Maybe one last thing about features. The feature I just shared with you, it doesn't sync back, so you cannot load yet. This is still in progress. I will. I, I plan to add it next. I also think that the backups part is not the best way to do it. Um, I think eventually I want to get to supporting Git. So instead of having a bunch of folders with backups, one would have actually a working Git. Still also kind of ongoing. Maybe me, maybe someone else will get to adding good support of it to uh, to bolt. So <clears throat> I took a pause from recording and needed to eat, spend time with kids, and also the stream from StarGlit started, so I stopped recording. Listen to what they're doing. I think I would summarize that they are swamped, they are working hard on improving many things in commercial part, and they do not have yet time for open source. As you can see below, I did ask on the, on the stream and they answered. So they are looking at what people are doing in open source. They are excited about what people are doing in the open source part. They are not accepting pull requests yet much, and they are not backporting features from Bolt yet, but 
they plan to and that's why they are not supporting pull requests that much yet because if uh, they will allow open source community to run very far ahead it will get it harder it will get harder for them to backport features from commercial bolt back into the open source one so for now open source will go slow in the official repo in that sense I still argue for having community version where we are going forward, but we will have hard time cross-porting features between the both versions. We will see. Okay, last part of the video, installing it locally. So here is the repo of StackBlitz, the official repo. It works with it, the process I will show you, and it works almost with any fork. I will show it on... Oops, wrong click. I will show it on my fork. Let's do it here, it's second fork. So, the simplest way, first you need to get the code. The simplest way that GitHub has is just to download the zip, and that is what I will use. I will be showing it on Mac, but it's approximately the same on Windows. I will leave just some comments on how to exactly do that on Windows. So, here I downloaded it, and here I have, and here I have a folder. Now, the next thing you will need to do is to open a terminal in that folder. So maybe one thing though before we open the terminal that I do want to show to you is contents of this file. So package JSON. Uh, Stackblitz Bolt is a full stack JavaScript application. JavaScript is usually these days done with Node. There is also Deno and Bun and some other options, but mostly Node. And Node is like how it's built, how package and dependencies are uh, managed is uh, done with this file, package JSON. Let's open it with some just text editor. Uh, and inside, <coughs> you will see all kinds of dependencies. This is third-party code that Bolt uses, like code mirror, uh, code editor. It requires Node.js 1818 or higher. And here is the interesting part, scripts. This is the predefined scripts that allow you to deploy, build, develop. In my version, there is also dev inspect that allows to develop and inspect the node part, the server part. There are also tests. Uh, there is lint that checks if code standards are enforced in the code. There is type checker and preview. The preview basically previews the project. So to run this locally, what we'll need to do is that we'll need to install the node and run the preview. And that's it. Let's try to do that. So that's package. Okay, so I already have node. You just go here. And download the latest version uh, that is stable, which is version 20. And I already have it, so I will not be doing that. But you can find videos in the internet. I will probably add one in the description if you don't know how to install Node. Okay, let's go back to the folder. So next thing you will need to do is to open a terminal. Um, well, you can find again how to open a terminal in the folder. I will show you it for mock. So I have a line here. And you will not see it. You need to go to View in Finder and press at this, at Show Path Bar. Then you will see the Path Bar. You right-click on this part, on the last part of folder, and then choose Open Terminal, which will open the terminal. Let me check which version I have here. I have old one, so let's use... Uh, yeah. I have a... Oops. I have so-called app called NVM that allows me to have multiple versions of Node. So I chose 2016, one of the latest ones, and I am in the folder that I downloaded with Bolt. So now I need to run this thing that will come, like you will have it in terminal after you install Node. It's called NPM or Node Package Manager, and you will need to do NPM install. It will take a little bit of time. Okay, and we are done. Now we need to run npm run preview. Mm. Oh, it uses pnp in this one. Okay, whatever. npm run build then. We have some SAS warnings. 
And now that when it's built, we need to run npm run uh, start. And it's starting. And it started. And now it shows you a couple of options. B, D, C, and X. X for exit. We are interested in B. Just press B. And now it's here. It's working. It's still loading. It loaded the model. You don't need the key, uh, but it may fail. Let's try. Uh, hello world app with fancy CSS and animations. Let's see if it's going to work. And it didn't work. So yeah, hitting rate limits probably. Let's try something. Let's go to open router and choose other key. So I have a hard-coded key there for ease of starting. Sadly, it runs out. This is free bolt new. Let's try to create a new key, whatever. Um, so new key, whatever. Again, I will delete them after stream. So here's a new key and let's add it here and try again. Create for me fancy landing page with fancy CSS and animations. So another key, it's probably going to work. Yeah, it seems like it's working. And uh, <coughs> yeah, so another key, it's working. So create your own key. If this doesn't work, it's not super hard to do. And here we have already a working preview. So that's how you run it locally. Pretty easy. You just need node and run a couple of commands in terminal. And then it works in your browser. So this is all I have for you today. Just to recap, there is a new model. You can already use it with open router. I improved site stability, but I have some problems with rate limits, probably. I've added ability to live sync to a folder in one direction for now. You cannot upload, but you can constantly download with backups to a folder while you work, so you don't lose your work. Uh, I showed you how to do a local setup. And I also reviewed a little bit of uh, where the open source situation with Bolt is between StuckBlitz and the community. If you found this useful, be a good guest of this joint. Leave a like, leave comments, ask for other questions. I will be making more videos and answering your questions in them. Subscribe to see those videos. And if I really help you, be generous. Leave a super thanks tip. Thank you and see you next time.